Hi, Air Signs. This is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is your love reading for the time period of November 1st through November 15th. This is for all the air signs. We are starting with Gemini, then I'll move on to Libra, then Aquarius. If you guys want to leave timestamps, that would be great. Um, I'll try to put them up myself. Um, if you guys would like to get a personal reading from me, you know that you can go to moonpytarot.com or you can connect with me on the Instant Go app. Just download the app from your iPhone app store and you can call, text, or start a chat with me if you have any questions that you need immediate answers to. I can get back to you within 24 hours. Please follow me on Instagram, uh, Twitter, and Facebook under Moon Pie Tarot as I upload dailies and weeklies if you need more insight. Okay, so we're going to start with Gemini. This is for Gemini Sun, Moon, or Rising, and also Venus. If you have... Uh, it, it, some of the messages may resonate, some may not. If they don't, just check your other signs so you could get more insight and see how things tie in for you. So what are the energies for Gemini for love for the time period of November 1st through November 15th? Okay, we're starting with the Three of Cups. And you have the Five of Chalices, the Hierophant, Four of Pentacles, and the Chariot. Okay, Gemini, some of you are dealing with a Cancer, some of you are dealing with a Taurus, and the Four of Cups. All right, Gemini, so a little bit of the overall energy here with the Four of Cups. A little bit of um, maybe some apathy or indifference to love. Uh, not really that you are not wanting love, but your focus might be elsewhere during these next couple of weeks. Um, some of you could be indifferent to being in a committed relationship right now, or some of you could be not sure if you want to go to the next level with someone just yet you may still be considering where you are in your life at this time uh, considering if it's even possible to raise the bar or level up in a relationship the hierophant is here is calling for you to maybe pay attention to perhaps moving a relationship to the next level it's saying for you to not go off the deep end either you don't want to be rebellious or um, acting in a way that for instance you want to get into a relationship because you just feel like oh time is running out or something like that it's saying for you to just not get too heavy into um or to force yourself into something if you don't really feel it just at this time. And it, it could be someone else that you're dealing with as well, where the energy is that, you know, taking a relationship to a next level, marriage or committed, more exclusive, it could be coming for you during this time. But you just may feel like, huh, you know, you're not really sure w what what you want to do right now. Someone could be offering something or saying to you, you know, let's let's move in together, or you know, let's um, let's do this or let's do that, and you might not be sure because the this hierophant with the four of cups could be like maybe you it could be a gift that you receive from someone and you may not it may not f be fulfilling to you just yet okay so you have the three of cups here so the three of cups is really just you enjoying your life right now you're enjoying friendship you're enjoying celebrations you have a circle of support around you you are soaking up all of the energies of 
the emotions, the positive emotions and support that you get from other people. You know, and so you may not be, you may just be in this place or this place, you know, this time where you just feel like, ah, you know, everything's really going great. Uh, let's, let's, let's wait, let's hold off a little bit before we move things to the next level. Okay, for whatever reason, and I'm sure if you're listening to this, you know. So you also have the five of cups. So there is, there is this energy where you, you might be like a little torn about what to do in some way, like you're enjoying your life, you're enjoying how things are going. Um, but at the same time, you could have this thought process where, where you could be thinking, well, maybe I should, because if I don't, um, I might have regret or I might lose this other person, but I don't feel like you're going to lose uh, another person. I just feel like the, the time and the energy is for you to just really be sure about what it is that you want to move forward with. I, I don't feel like there's any kind of a rush energy here. Uh, you don't have any wands cards. You have cups, a lot of cup cards. So this is really about examining how you feel about whether or not you want to move forward. And there could be someone new that comes in. You could be dealing with a Taurus or someone that may just say to you, it doesn't have to be a Taurus, but this person is, you know, ready to take it to the next level. And you might just hold off a little bit. You may not be sure you're, you're kind of like still thinking, is it time for me to do this yet? Or do I need to little, wait a little bit because I'm really enjoying how things are going? Okay, so then you also have the four of pentacles here. So I, I don't feel, you know, I feel like you, you want to hold on to this energy. And the four of pentacles, you do have a desire for long term, long term security, you don't want things to change. Um, even if you're single, and there isn't anyone in your life, and someone comes in, which could happen during this time period. Um, you just don't want to upset the apple cart just yet. You're, but you're not sure. You're really just kind of reflecting. You know, thinking about the past, thinking about where you've been, where you are now, what could be in front of you. And it's really just saying for you to take that time out to really consider. Okay, you're aware of how you feel, but you're not like, overly emotional you care and you love someone very deeply but you're not overly emotional and even with someone new coming in it's still that same energy where you really just like how things are in your life right now and you and and even and you it's not that you will not get involved with someone if you're single but you're not going to rush into it okay now the chariot card here is telling me that there will be some movement at some point, I said there's no wands cards, but the chariot card is about action and change. You may you may be taking a trip with your significant other, or um, you may just be focused on you know enjoying the time that you spend together before going to a much deeper level. Uh, some of you could be dealing with a cancer, so you could just be really in this place where you know. You know, you could say to them, well, you know, I, I, I love being with you and I love the way our relationship is. Let's just, instead of moving in together or getting the money up to buy a house and all that, let's just spend our money on, on take a trip and go somewhere and do something fun. Take a little journey, you know, um, either by car or, or by air or by train, okay? But this is the change that you want to implement that you and that you want to keep going you know I feel like with the hierophant here you do want to be committed but you're not ready to go like full force just yet at least for these two weeks you really just want to go out and have fun with your partner or someone who's coming in that may want to spend time with you they could be coming in from a distance and you may find that you do enjoy spending time with them, but you're not really in a rush 
to you know move it really quick i feel like they could be especially if you have a taurus here um they're a fixed energy and fixed energies you know they like to make a plan they stick with it they don't move they know what they want and they go and then they they're stuck to it you know and you're a gemini so you're more mutable and you just kind of like to flit in and flit out and have fun and enjoy yourself so for these next couple of weeks especially if you're single or even if you're involved with someone or in a marriage they may be requesting something more and more and more and more from you and you just kind of might be you know i'm just not really in the mood to you know get super emotional about things i just really want to have fun and you know for now but i feel like you will be thinking about it and for those who are cross watching for gemini they are aware um about a committed situation they are aware that that could be something that you want um, they're not rushing into it just yet they're taking their time to figure it out before they jump but there will be some movement perhaps towards the end of these two weeks okay so gemini that was your reading now we're going to move on to libra so libra this is your reading for the week of or the time period of november 1st through november 15th if you guys could follow me on facebook instagram and Twitter, that would be great, all under Moon Pie Tarot. This is for Libra Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. For love, you can connect with me on the Instant Go app or simply uh, go to my website, Moon Pie Tarot, if you would like to get a personal reading. I run specials on there every now and then. Okay, Libra, so let's see what's going on with you. What are the love energies for Libra for November 1st through November 15th? So the Page of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, the Queen of Swords, the Five of Swords, and your overall energy is the Eight of Pentacles. Who got that? One of the last readings, I think it was Virgo. So any of you um, Virgos cross-watching for Libra, listen to your Virgo reading. Um, your overall energy is eight of the Eight of Pentacles. So this is an energy where it's kind of like uh, you're just... You're other, other focused, as I said in the Virgo reading. So for those of you who are dealing with a Virgo, for those of you Libras, you both have this energy going on <laughs> right now. I'm pretty sure it was Virgo. Um, so the Eight of Pentacles is really just talking about, you know, your focus, your overall focus for the next couple of weeks is paying attention to what is you're not paying attention to love this week this time period that's for sure you're focusing more on the things you need to do for yourself your career your health uh, and you could have someone who is trying to reach you or reach out to you or offer something to you or try to get your attention but you're kind of like mm, look at her face she's like just not paying attention you both maybe just had a little time together and as soon as you're as soon as you're finished you're back up thinking about um you know what time do i have to be at work tomorrow wait i have to check my schedule like you have a lot of that energy going on during this time okay you're just not love really love focused now with the page of pentacles again yeah, I just feel like you could be receiving messages from employers or clients or things like that. And um, just kind of like, you know, some of you are waiting for a new job or waiting to hear back about a job during this time. Give me just a second here. I'm... Some of you are dealing with two people. So 
the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords. Libra, if this Queen of Swords is not you, this could be another air sign that you are dealing with. And for some of you, you could have this energy where you've been spending time with someone but you're thinking about another person. Either you're thinking about the earth sign or you're thinking about the air sign. You may see how she sits right here between these two cards. You maybe, maybe you have two people that you're dealing with or you just have this energy where you need to make a decision about who really brings you the most passion or who you feel the most passionate with. Now, if this isn't two people, this is just your energy. I really feel, Libra, that you are focused on your passions, your dreams. Um, you're just, even though it's a love reading, you're just not love focused for these next couple of weeks. You're, you're waiting to receive messages about money. Uh, or something to do with finances and it has something to do with your wishes and your dreams and the things that you chase after now the ace of wands can also be a card of sexual lust um, so for some of you you may not be feeling satisfied in a relationship with another person and you maybe you want a new beginning with either the person that you're with or another person and I know for those of you who are listening and hoping that your Libra is monogamous, um, well, I think it could be this could just be more of a fantasy. And I don't really consider that to be uh, not being monogamous. Um, you could, it could just be that this Libra person does care and love you very much. Um, but maybe they have a fantasy about like, say, you know, <sighs> I don't know, superstar or someone, you know, like a little crush, that kind of thing, because the Ace of Wands could be that energy, you know, and you might be feeling, I don't usually say this for cross watchers, but you might be feeling that they're a bit distant, but I don't feel like it's because they aren't interested in you, okay? But, you know, Libra is sharp, very sharp, and here with the Five of Swords, that's evident, okay? Libra is kind of like, they know what they want and they just kind of spurt it out and they just go for it they're not overly emotional types at all but I feel like for some of you Libras you could have been involved with someone and it could have been another air sign who may have been harsh with you like really really harsh even if it's not another air sign, this person could have air in their chart somewhere where they're very brutally honest. They could have been a bit critical or sometimes they could have said things. And the only reason I'm saying an air sign at least is because the five of swords is sitting right next to that. And the five of swords is always indicative of abusive relationships or bullying type of energy. So, you know, Libra, you could be in a relationship with an earth sign and... I know it's going to sound strange, but thinking about this other person who was not nice to you, maybe they've had some kind of an effect on you and it's making your relationship with another person very difficult uh, to be involved with them because this other person that you're dealing with is not overly emotional. They are, you know, they're the type of people who are just, you know, very like pragmatic and, um, but you're not overly emotional either. I just feel like for some, this, uh, for some of you Libras, you've got someone who, whomever you had dealt with or whomever you will be dealing with who was not very nice or, or may come through as that they are just a little bit bullying and harsh and you're hoping for something else. I know this reading was kind of all over the place and I'm so sorry about that. It's just this, this strange when two different people come up in a reading like this. I'm actually, um, 
I'm actually going to clarify the Queen of Pentacles because I'm just a little curious to know what the significance is of this queen. So you, some of you are dealing with a Virgo, with the Hermit here, or this Queen, this Queen of Pentacles is just very clammed up. They really don't express their emotions. They're not expressing them to you. This queen could be a male or a female, just so you know, in general tower readings. Now, the queen of swords, what is the significance of this person? Yeah, they're like, they may be bringing you a lot of passion, lust, this queen of swords energy. If it's not you, this is someone who's like, kind of like a little bit of a playboy type of energy or play girl you know someone who's just in and out in and out in and out of your life so you might just be really like since this ace of wands is crowning you here you might just be very like really wanting this passionate new beginning with someone and and maybe these two are not just cutting it for you and this this queen of swords could come in this this king or queen of swords male or female could come in and offer you know some sexual passionate lustful energy but and that's something that you want because i don't really feel like you're getting it with you may not be getting it with the other person this other person is much more grounded okay and they just kind of keep things to, to themselves so you're, you're i feel like you're going to have to take a stand and make a decision maybe about these two different people but you are you are disconnected during the next two weeks emotionally you're thinking about other things so um i, I really feel libra if that if this is confused because i'm even now i'm getting I, i'm confused because i'm getting a lot of messages and i hate when that happens because all these messages come at one time and then it's really difficult for me so all i can say really at this point some readings are fantastic and some are just like there's so much information and I can't possibly get it all out at once. If you would like a personal reading, just contact me. If, if something here resonates or check your other readings to see if something resonates. And I, I totally expect a comment like, you don't know what you're talking about. You're all over the place. And because I fully admit that this whole thing has just been, ugh, you know, a lot of different stuff going on. So hopefully you caught something out of it. I, I truly, I, <laughs> I just feel like there's a lot of messages coming through um, from the spirit that they're trying to tell you something. There's something you really need to know. And yeah, contact me for a personal reading. I swear I'm not plugging myself. I'm not. I, I literally feel your pain if you just weren't getting this. Um, I'm just going to move on to Aquarius now. So this reading uh, is going to be for Aquarius Sun Moon Arising for the time period of November 1st through November 15th. This is also for those of you who have Aquarius and Venus. Definitely listen to your Venus readings. If you know what your sign is, you can easily go to a birth calculator, birth chart calculator on the internet to find out if you have your birth time. Um, I always find the Venus readings resonate best for me as my Venus is in Cancer and those are always about relationships. But I do encourage you to listen to as much as you can um, to paint the biggest picture and see how everything eventually ties in at some point. Okay, so Aquarius, hello. Please, please, please follow me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook under Moon Pie Tarot because I upload dailies and weeklies there. All right, Aquarius, what's going on for you guys for love? So you have the death card to start. Ooh, then you have the world to Major Arcana. Then you have strength, your third major arcana. Your fourth major arcana, the high priestess. Then you have the five of swords. Okay, we just got that for Libra. And the queen of swords. She's really showing up in these, these readings. Okay, so Aquarius, queen of swords, male or female. This could be you or this could be another person. Uh, the uh, the Queen of Swords, she's very, she or he is, is, is very cutting, um, not necessarily bad, but 
very logical, self-sufficient, very truth-telling, um, powerful, intentional, quick acting, a thoughtful leader. Uh, everything is done by uh, mostly the head, very logical people. Um, so this could be your energy or this could be the energy of someone you're dealing with or someone who's going to be significant for you in, the, in these next two weeks. Now, some of you, oh, it's interesting. Okay, some of you are dealing, so I'm going to call out the signs. Some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Uh, you have the world. You could be dealing with the Leo. You could be dealing with... Well, you have the high priestess. So some of you are dealing with a Scorpio or a Leo and or a Leo. Um, I'm seeing with this, the death card and the world card, something's ending and a possible new strength found in love during this time period. Something could be ending with a queen of swords or it's just you ending something in a love relationship from the past. Death is when we transition into the next phase of our lives and the world is when we close the chapter. It's kind of like the wheel of fortune. It's a good time for you to do that because things are going well for you now. Okay. Um, so the overall what's it the the what's crowning if this is your energy what's crowning you here is this strength card which could be this leo so this could be someone who's a challenge for you or someone that you could be dealing with in the next couple of weeks now, there's no cup card, so I'm not seeing much in the way of love here, but I am going to pull a, a couple of clarifiers because the high priestess sitting here is telling me that there's this energy of maybe some secrets or mystery. Um, you're trusting yourself. There's intuition that you're, you're trusting your intuition. But you have the five of swords as well. So you're fighting something in the next couple of weeks. Maybe you're fighting or someone could be giving you a hard time. If you're ending a past relationship, somebody could be fighting you about this and you're needing to gain strength to do that. So let me just pull for the, the death card to see what's going on there. So the Nine of Pentacles. So you're putting an end to maybe feeling hurt. Nine of Pentacles is that wounded warrior card. I'm sorry, not the Nine of Pentacles. You're putting an end to being single. I was thinking the Nine of Wands. I'm sorry. The Nine of Pentacles is a card about someone who, you know, is who's been single, perhaps, or is is wanting to be single. Um, or it's just someone who's like, when you, when I think of the, um, Rider Waite deck, the nine of pentacles, she stands there. She has a bird in her hand, all these pentacles around her. So everything is going well in her life. She has friends, she has material things, um, maybe a good job, but she's missing someone. And I see that you, like she, she wants a partner. She wants someone that she can, uh, enjoy the fruits of her labors with he or her and so you're putting an end to that some of you may have been involved with a scorpio and that's it that's done for you so this world card you're changing you're no longer you're in this place now where you're feeling good about yourself because the eight of swords talks about someone who um was like a self-imposed prisoner or kept you kept yourself away maybe from loving relationships or any relationships maybe because of something from the past or something that you were still holding on to and now you're starting to get yourself in this place where you're like you know I've got the world at my feet I can do anything I can go anywhere 
you're feeling confident about yourself, you're feeling good, you've made changes in your life, and opportunities are opening up for you as well. Okay, so it's a favorable time these next couple of weeks for you to just really take the bull by the horns here like here you could be coming off with this strength energy where now you've got this power and this confidence and you're ready to you know take on the world you're transitioning out of something from your past okay and again some of you could be uh you could have a leo male or female on your mind that maybe is giving you confidence or giving you power in some way or is helping you to get back on your feet or giving you strength now this high priestess but you're not telling all your secrets okay you could be secretly traveling or or making plans to take a trip or a journey um, but you're kind of keeping that under wraps it could be something that you're just saying to yourself I, this is something i need to do i need to go somewhere i need to uh I need to reach a place where my fulfillment happens, but for you it's geographical. So there's something, you know, you could be taking a trip. Uh, maybe you're going to meet someone or someone's coming to meet you. The Five of Swords and the Three of Wands. So there's like a, this determination to expand in love during these next couple of weeks you're determined now to explore and expound on all that you have created for yourself you're determined to move forward determined with groups of people or determined to go meet someone in particular you have something going on in your mind your intuition could be calling you with the six of swords to travel or to move or to go and with the five of swords that five of swords energy is like that sword we wielding uh trooper you know is just cuts all the shrub out of his front of his way and just you know says out of my way out of my way i'm moving forward i'm going right you're putting you're putting plans into action you want progress you're just it's so interesting because it's your Aquarius and you're so progressive and the three of wands is progression. That's what that card's about. So like you're nonstop, whatever things have been holding you back, you know, you're, you'll take a piece of it with you. You'll never forget. You'll always remember, but you're not going to stay here anymore. You're transitioning out of any kind of past. You're, you're just in this next phase of your life, I feel, and you're ready to go you're ready to go so it's it's really it's really awesome it's really great um like i said i'm not seeing a lot of i'm not seeing love stuff coming up here oh uh, you've got the five of cups here so this is just moving on from love for our past loves excuse me moving on forward uh, reflecting uh, you're withdrawing from maybe a particular person from your past i like to look at this card because I see like that looks like a face someone who uh, you know the mask is finally off about someone from your past and now there's new suitors perhaps and you are just kind of thinking about you know okay you've put this in the past now and you're you know you're walking away and you're ready to accept new love and new offers which could be coming forward for you male or female so it's a beautiful time to be you Aquarius <laughs> I think it's great. Okay, I'm going to end your reading. So again, if you wish for a personal reading, contact me at Moon Pie Tarot or uh, download the Instant Go app and you can talk to me on there. Okay, so talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye.